So this video should be very short. We're going to just going to briefly talk about how cells differentiate and specialize as organisms grow, uh, in particular a multicellular organism that has a wide variety of cells. So let's um, kind of apply this to humans first. So humans are, they start with one fertilized egg, right? It's called a zygote. So we come from one little cell. And that one cell is going to divide and divide and divide, okay? And that's what's going to help us to grow. So when we're born, we have lots and lots of cells, okay? And those cells are genetically identical. However, they have also specialized. So these cells, again, we started with our, my, our zygote here, our one cell, went through lots and lots of mitosis to give us growth. Right, because remember, mitosis gives us genetically identical cells. But as the organism is growing, okay, those cells will start to specialize. And that's how you'll end up with hair cells and liver cells and blood cells and bone cells. But again, remember, those cells are still genetically identical to one another. Our undifferentiated or unspecialized cells, they are called stem cells. So stem cells really have the ability to kind of turn into any kind of cell they want to turn into. Um, for example, what we have here, we have these pluripotent cells. So they could turn into heart cells, nervous cells, immune system cells. Okay? So the differentiation or the specialization of those cells is going to be due to the regulation of the gene expression. Remember, all of the cells in our body have the same DNA. They all have the exact same DNA. Okay, but when we regulate which genes are turned on, which are turned off, which ones are expressed, that allows for that differentiation and specialization. So we can get things like heart cells, nervous system, immune system. Okay, and so those stem cells are those initial um, undifferentiated, unspecialized cells. If y'all remember from protein synthesis, we talked a little bit about this. Gene expression is going to be regulated by RNA splicing. Okay, so this should be kind of familiar. This is our RNA splicing up here. Okay, so there's my RNA splicing. And remember, that was taking this pre-messenger RNA, taking that messenger RNA and splicing it. Um, and put when we put it back together, taking out certain introns, exons, okay, um, processing that RNA. We talked about RNA processing. We talked about this. And so we can get this initial RNA strand can give us multiple Okay, arrangements, which could give us different proteins. Okay, remember, it's all about proteins, right? So that's one way that gene expression can be regulated is how the RNA is spliced. Okay, um, environmental cues over here can tell us uh, how the gene should be, what gene should be expressed, which should be turned on, which should be turned off, as well as cellular communication can tell us that. You know, if the cell is surrounded by other nervous system cells, they can give that stem cell a cue to turn into a nervous system cell as opposed to, say, a liver cell. So these are kind of three very broad ways that gene expression can be regulated. But remember, all of the cells in your body have the exact same DNA. It just depends upon which genes are currently being expressed. And so when those genes specialize is when we get tissues. You know, we start off with cells. Okay? In the human case, we start off with those unspecialized stem cells. As they specialize and we get our groups of specialized cells, then we get a tissue, an organ, um, you remember your organ is your groups of tissues, your organ system is your groups of organs, and your organism being your groups of organi organ systems. Okay, what we have here are some microscope slides of, up here we've got various types of muscle tissue. Okay, so these cells have, these have been, they were originally stem cells, and they have specialized into muscle cells that have the ability to contract. Okay, here we've got uh, various two different rows here of various types of connective tissue. So we've got bone tissue, blood cells, um, this is fat tissue here, cartilage, and you'll notice they all look a little bit different because they all have a wide variety of functions. You know, fat's job is to store, so it's got plenty of space to store things. Their cells can fill up with stuff. Osseous or bone tissue, its job is to offer support and protection. Okay, blood's job is to transport things. So they, all these cells look a little bit different so that they can do their different jobs. And so they have specialized, but they all still have the exact same DNA. They just expressed different genes. So when we come into class, we'll be um, doing a little work with some various types of cells to kind of examine this differentiation.